Okay, so this says uh, let f of x be this thing. Find the function value at 2 plus the square root of 2. Um, so I'm just going to rewrite it and replace every x with 2 plus the square root of 2. And then we're going to have to FOIL this out three times, FOIL this out, and then um, distribute. So we have 3 times 2 plus the square root of 2. I'm going to rewrite this three times. Plus 2 times 2 plus root 2 twice plus 5 times 2 root 2 plus 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is FOIL one set of these. I will leave the 3 out front, but I do the first term which is 2 times 2, is, which is 4. The outer term, which is 2 root 2. The inner term is also going to be 2 root 2. So if I add 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2, I get 4 root 2. You can think of the root 2 as like a variable. And then I have last is going to be root 2 times root 2, which is 2. I'm going to rewrite that, this third one, 2 plus root 2, plus leave the 2 out front. I'm going to FOIL this one. This should be the same as that, 4 plus 4 root 2 plus 2. Now distribute, that's going to be 10 plus 5 root 2 plus 4. I still have to FOIL these two, so I'm going to leave the 3 where it is. I'm going to distribute, I'm going to multiply the 4 by both of these, then the 4 root 2 by both of these, then the 2 by both of these. So 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times root 2 is 4 root 2. 4 root 2 times 2 is 8 root 2. 4 root 2 times root 2 4 root 2 times root 2. This root 2 times root 2 is 2 times 4 is 8. And now the last one. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times root 2 is 2 root 2. Okay. Plus, I can distribute the 2. Now I get 8 plus 8 root 2 plus 4. 4 plus, I'm going to add the 10 and the 4, I get 14 plus 5 root 2. Moving right along. Now I can, oh, well, I will combine like terms first before I distribute the 3. So I have 8 plus 8 plus 4, that's 20. 16, oops. 16 and 4 is 20. 4 root 2, 8 root 2, 2 root 2. That's 14 root 2. Plus 8, 4, and 14. That is, what, 18, 26? 8, 4, and 14. Plus 13 root 2. Distribute the 3, I have 60 plus 3 times 14, that's 30, that's 42 root 2 plus 26 plus 13 root 2, which finally gives us 60 plus 26 is 86 plus, this is going to be 55 root 2. So if you wanted to enter that, that should be the answer. Let me double check with the calculator. So what you can do first is say 2 plus the square root of 2. 
that's that. And I'm going to rewrite the equation three times this cubed plus two times this squared plus five times this plus four. So the answer is 163.7817. So let's see if we get the same thing here. Uh, 86 plus 55 times the square root of two. And we get the exact same thing. So this is completely acceptable, but I think the easier method, especially because you have this X cubed here, is to probably just find the, the decimal first and then substitute the actual decimal in for X.